Hello everyone, welcome back to Biotechnica. Myself, Diksha Shandilya from Biotechnica and today I'm going to talk about the career path that is after your BSc Zoology so as to become a successful scientist. So if you're planning to do your research work, if you're planning to build your career in the field of research, you want to become a scientist and you want to know about the career path, the career guide, how you can effectively, you know, pursue your dream of becoming a scientist, I'm here to help you by enlisting eight pointers and that will be guiding you to get a scientist position or to get builded your career in the field of research after doing your BSc in zoology. So here the first point that is important for you to like build your career in the field of research and become a successful scientist or a professor after BSc zoology is the first the first and the foremost thing that is important is to do a post-graduation or a master's degree. So, doing a post-graduation degree is important for your research experience for your research uh, like um, career because you need to go for higher studies if you want to become a professor scientist or go for any research positions you have to do your masters that is the basic prerequisite you have to do your masters now i'm giving you some options what options you can opt after bsc zoology for your masters so you can go for msc zoology you can go or if you want to go for any other program you want to go for interdisciplinary program there are other programs as well that is MSc in Biotechnology, you can go for MSc in Animal Biotechnology, you can go for MSc in Bioinformatics, you can go for MSc in Biochemistry, Microbiology, Genetics or whatever you prefer, even you can go for MSc Clinical Trials depends upon your interest but since we are talking about the career prospect the career guide after psc zoology to become a successful scientist i'm enlisting some of the msc program that are important that are most like favored program that are the most really like, reputed programs for your post post graduation for, for that you need to do, do these programs and then you can go for any further research so as to become a scientist so these are the most sort of programs that are available after your BSc Zoology. So first pursue your post-graduation degree and the second thing that is important after your post-graduation is cracking competitive examination. So you have to be sound academically throughout your you know, academic year. That means that after doing your post-graduation, you should crack the competitive examinations. Now the competitive examination that are available after doing your MSc in Zoology or any of the courses that I have enlisted here you can go for a few entrance examination or few national level competitive examinations and they are CSI and NGRF you can go for DBT GRF you can go for ICMR GRF you can go for GATE and you can go for even deferred GGA bills. Deferred GGA bills you can also go after BSc uh, Zoology if you want to go for any MSc Biological Sciences program in any of the reputed research institution in India or if you want to go for integrated uh, MSc PhD also you can go for deferred GGA bills and these are the net GRF examination that have, like that are conducted after you have completed or if you are in the final year of your post graduation you can write Kate also if you have like final year of your degree or if you are final year of your like masters even if you are in the first year of your masters you can give the gate examination they have relaxation regarding the eligibility now so these are some of the most famous competitive examination and the prerequisite that you need to like crack if you want to go for any research based position or any research career in your life okay now the third point that is important is go for research positions your experience matters so for that after doing your post graduation try getting research positions try get gaining research experience either through working in like uh, laboratories or you can go for any research positions in any university you can work even in a private firm where you are getting any research position you just have to gain experience regarding research you can go for anything the first then the foremost thing that is important is project associate you can go for any project associate position you can go for junior research fellow position grf fellowship is available for the like for the students who have done their masters and who want to go for any uh, research position or project uh, experience they want to get they can become a grf in that project 
you can go for any r and d assistant r and d consultant or any uh, like r and d research associate position in a company you can go for phd degree or if you have done your bachelor's in your planning for phd and you want some integrated msc phd you can obviously go for that and defer jg bills is one of the most famous examination if you want to go for msc phd integrated from top institutions such as iisc you can write defer jg bills examination you can get through the interview process writing sop interview process and then if you get selected it will be better so integrated msc phd also you can get so these are the research positions or the like uh, career prospects what you can do after your masters especially and this year after bachelors now the going for research position is important for your building your or pioneering your research like uh, basics or establishing your research uh, like uh, in inoculum so firstly these things are important and then you have to go for internships or training because you have to make your cv in such a way that you have to prove that you can be a good researcher for that you need a lot of exposure lot of technical exposure lot of industrial exposure lot of institutional laboratory exposure it's very much needed okay so you, can, you should do internships or training you can always go to like some of the internships on training and the institutions that are available are in institute of, you can go to iisc you can go to any iit for internships or program you can go to any csi or dbt or icmr or icar labs for doing internships or training you can go for any top ranked universities in india like gnu delhi university banaras hindu university university of hyderabad you can go for any top in, like ranked universities for doing internship or training and they will have a very good research environment where you can get guidance about the further research assistance or further how you can pursue your research career also you can go for some reputed internship or online training courses and that's one is edx where you will be getting some online uh, courses affiliated from many international and reputed international universities you can go for that purchasing the courses and in india you can go for mptel they will they will have a course curriculum and they will always conduct it in like offline examination also so mptel also is a reputed like internship or certificate courses opportunity that they provide so these are some of the op options that you can go for internship or training and how you can get it now we are coming to the next option that is very much crucial or that is in the career path of after, after bsc zoology to become a successful scientist and that is attending workshop and conferences each and every workshop and conferences that you attend the like the certificates that you get the experience that you get the exposure that you get and the amount of conversation that you prefer with the people with the scientist with the professors who have attended the workshop and conferences it will always help you this net working will always help you in becoming a successful scientist in future and believe me the day you start the, doing these things will always help you for the like um, lifelong for your career because what you have started now will always affect the career that you're going to get after 10 years okay so always try to get involved in the workshop conferences always try to interact with the professionals with the professors or with the scientists they are always try to ask them questions related to their experience related to their research work this is very much important you can always go for a poster presentation if you love like um, delivering your experience and delivering the research areas you want to like speak about science you can go for any of the debate scientific debate also you can go for poster presentation you can go for seminars you can go for exhibitions whatever where you can present your models or anything so if you have interest in pursuing research further you should be thinking about these things why it is important these things are really important for your better networking or for your like um, establishing your inquisitive towards research so these things are important guys so you have to take care of these things also so as to make or build your career later for research all right and the next point that is important is if you have completed your phd now you have once you complete your phd go for postdoctoral research many people don't go for postdoctoral research they quit that is their own personal like choice but you are always encouraged for a scientist position you are always encouraged to pursue postdoctoral research because the amount of postdoctoral 
research or the years of experience you are getting in the postdoctoral research will help you in becoming a successful scientist or getting recruited easily for any scientific position. So firstly, you have to do your master's, then go for research position, then go for a PhD or integrated PhD after bachelor's, go for internships in between you are getting your bachelor's or master's or your even PhDs, you can attend conferences, workshops and then go for postdoctoral research you can go for postdoctoral research in some of the indian reputed universities also you can go abroad also some of the best places of pursuing postdoctoral research abroad is us germany uk netherlands canada these are some of the good places abroad so you can have check up on the universities that you prefer and the, the department where you want to work that is again your personal preference now we are coming to the next part good good publications so throughout your research career what you are doing your be it your research position be you are in your phd be, be you are in your PDR that is postdoctoral research you have to get good like uh, publish uh, publications you have to get good papers published in the top notch journals such as nature cell or any other specific journal related to medicine or cancer biology or molecular biology or nanotechnology anywhere whatever research area you are having get good publication good papers with good impact factor are actually extremely important for becoming a good researcher so make sure you go write good review articles as well as research papers so it's important for you to get good publications even if it is not getting published in top notch journals such as nature or cell it's important that your work is getting recognized it's important that you are doing your work properly and you're not getting affected by any demotivation it's important for you to keep going okay guys so it's not about getting high impact factor nature cell it's about how much consistency you are so anyway if you are consistent later you will get the benefit of being consistent and one day your paper will be highly uh, like acknowledged and will be in the top most journal okay so for that you need to get good publications and you have to work, work really hard in the scientific aspect in the scientific writing aspect and getting good results all right so your dedication towards research also matters so get good publications and then next, we are talking about the top institutions from where you can pursue your research in the field of uh, zoology or in the field of any biological sciences subject, which is applicable for a student who has completed their BSc in zoology and completed their master's in zoology or any interdisciplinary field. You can go for IITs, you can go for IASC, you can go for NCBS, you can go for any reputed university such as the JNU or DU, you can go for any CSI or DBT, ICMR labs also, it depends on your preference again so these are the career flow pursuing post graduation cracking the competitive exam going for research position doing internships attending conferences going for PDR postdoctoral research after your PhD getting good publication throughout your research journey and then getting this research experience from the top institutions will always be an add-on okay so the career path after BSc zoology works in this flow and you need to keep this in mind that you have to maintain the workflow, you have to maintain your, you know, uh, dedication towards your research in such a way that you are getting these experience, you are getting these eight pointers done very carefully and it is very important for you, especially if you want to become a successful scientist, if you want to become a researcher, if you want to devote yourself, encourage others to devote themselves in the field of science, if you want to be a good mentor, if you want to be a good PI, if you want to establish your own like a lab, it's important for you to keep in mind these things because the journey that that you start from today is going to be deciding factor what you're going to be after five or ten years so this was about the career path after bs zoology to become a successful scientist please mention in the comment box below if you have any doubt i'll be really grateful to help you guys thank you so much for watching this video